I can't wait till Saturday night. You know, and hope everything go all right. Like you know, That's the dog. The dog is run perfect. Like he's he's the only dog drawn right. Like you know what I mean. And anything can happen in the final. And he's running. He's running over his skin. Like you know, he's only a young dog for a big dog. You know, 86, 87 pound dog. He's, he's only just gone two year old. When, when I started trailing him, he done a real good trail, a real good sprint trail. He done. He ran 1631 in Waterford for the 300, only the third time in the box. And I, I brought him to Nascardi and he was breaking 29 seconds, you know, he was, he was a class dog, like, you know. And uh, we kept him in Nascardi to really to win the champion on the race. As, uh, usually I have a couple of pups in most years, you know. And uh, I thought that fella would win it, you know. It, I was lucky to win it with the other dog, but this lad was beating him ten lengths on the scrolling track. So, and after the first round, I, I got a phone call off of Patrick Janssen himself, and we agreed a price and saw him. So, and the best of luck to Patrick with him. The dam's name is Hair Delilah. She's ten and she's in great form. She looks like a bitch of five or six. She's in great order. You know, she's bouncing, she's leaping out with. You know, if you, you see her yourself there now, and you wouldn't take her for ten, like, you know. She's having a bad tooth in her head. <laughs> all, all the litters that I've bred over, I, my, a friend of mine, Michael Pickett, he a place down the country, and he, he rears all the pups for me, because he does a fantastic job on them. And, uh, I'm able to come and go, like, as I want down there. He gives me, go in when you like, and... You can fool around with the old dogs and the pups, and he's always there. He's there at five o'clock every morning, so he's he, it's, he they're like his children do, like you know what I mean. So they're rare to the best. I'm 82 now, and I've been involved in greyhounds all my life. When I was a kid, uh, my uh, brothers had greyhounds down in Kerry, and they had a lot of greyhounds. So, but I left. I left the country early. I went to England. The corn falcon. Yeah, well, he was reared in the middle field, as you seen yourself. He was reared there. The secret to reared a good dog is no lead, no muscles on him. Uh, full freedom. Early in the morning. At five o'clock every morning, winter and summer, <coughs> make no difference. Snow, snow or rain make no difference. The feeding they get is normally what they would get when they're racing anywhere. Good, good mince, and uh, a, bit, a bit of small amount of bread, and uh, eggs, of course. The, the, you can miss out on the eggs, and the vitamin E in the mornings. These are December 20s, uh, Michael bred these himself. I leased the bitch to Michael and because uh, he, he wanted to get a few pups himself and uh, he, he reared me a, a, a pair, a, a dog and a bitch, a black, the two black and white ones. I went to JT Dutch by Paul Hennessy owns him. So I went to him because uh, he, he had good early and he was able to stay as well. He had it both sides, and it was one of the natural maidens. I like the natural maiden. The ones I keep myself now, they'll be going down to Michael's probably next week now, you know, as soon as they're airmarked, you know. They'll be 12 weeks old now this week, so there'll be a few of them going to Michael and the rest of them are so on. So, and that's to fill Bob off of them will pay for the other ones, as we said before. At the moment in there, I've, I've just the two race dogs. I've Sons of Sons, which is a little brother to Tarn Falcon, the dogs in the final of the derby, which won the champion on race at Dennis Hardy, a local track. And uh, I have a half-sister, uh, Troopies Buick, which is a half-sister to, it's the next litter though. She's there, uh, she's racing at the moment, like, 
and uh, she's only young bitch, she's in this, she's October, I think, 19. And uh, she's going hurry as well. The plan is to keep her on as a brood, yeah, because you have to keep the line and I suppose you have to keep the best of them, really, like, you know, to try and get a, to throw another champion, if you can. You know, so I can't see why not, because the line is pretty good, like, so.